everyone, this is Jackie Hayes speaking. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Perth in Western Australia. And um, today I've, I have been set a challenge. I've got to admit I struggled a little bit with this, but it was my friend's husband that said um, this challenge is clouds. So this is the stamp set I've come up with. And so long as it depicts clouds somewhere on your card, that's what we had to do. So I've used Summer Days, which is this one. And this is a hostess um, gift uh, that we could buy if we got over $300 in sales. Well, my order came to... My husband's not listening, so my order came over $300. And I managed to get this one, which I do like. I like the trees, and I like the the little boy and everything. That's, and I've used this before in a man's card where it said um, a good for a good man, for a Father's Day card. So I have put this on. And, and the clouds I used, I punched out of an old old punch I've got that's a tree. Uh, if you could turn it that way, you can see that's a tree, the apple, um, bird, pear, flower, and then the, the cloud above. We, it's not actually a cloud, it's the top of the tree. But I knew that it looked like a cloud, and that's what I've done. And I punched out four pieces of that, and that's that's these. So I can use these as masking. And I put some repositional tape on them. The colours I've used is Balmy Blue for the ink pad, and Pear Pizzazz, and that's the colours of the the pay card plus whisper wide in the inside I just put the little boy with the um, the kite and it's funny I was talking to my brother yesterday in England and he had been out on Sunday um, to a place that I know quite well the Gower in Wales and um, he'd taken his grandchildren for the first time in months and there was nobody else there and he took a kite he took some kites in the back of his car and he said he had a marvelous time with them because they'd never flown kites before and he hadn't since he was a boy so he went back to his childhood which was great to listen to him doing that um so now i get started now you've learned my little bit of a past um i've got the balmy blue and it's um, a, um, A5 size, which is A4, cut in half at A5, scored at 10 and a half. With, um, pear pizzazz is 10 by 14 and a half. The outside is 9 and a half by 14, whisper white. And whisper white for the inside is 10 by 14 and a half. So we'll, I, I just need to put this piece on here. Right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I hope I haven't got another sneezing fit coming today. I had one the other day. I couldn't stop sneezing. I've not got a cold or anything. It's just... <coughs> oh, excuse me. It must be this video. When I start videoing, I either, either cough or sneeze. Right, so I'm going to take this smaller... Oh, gosh. Excuse me a moment. Got a tickle in the back of my nose. It's not going away.
Right. Hopefully that'll do it. I'm not convinced. So I will um, stamp the... Achoo! I didn't think it would. Stamp the little boy on the inside first. And I'm doing Memento Black because when you're doing blends, which I'm going to be doing, oh, excuse me, the Memento Black is the one that doesn't bleed when you're colouring in. So all, that's all I've done with that. Oh, excuse me. It's driving me mad now. So I will put the lid back on that one for a moment. Blow my nose again. I'm sorry about this. I can't stop the video once I started other me otherwise it's me starting all over again. Which is quite annoying. I don't I haven't learned how to do that. Right, I've got this the nine and a half um, nine and a half piece of paper card and I'm going to just position these pieces on here and these are my clouds <laughs> oh gosh if anybody walks in now they'll think I've got COVID-19 and I haven't Right, so that's then positioned. So when I colour this in, it's going to be with, um, oh no, <laughs> sponge brayer. And uh, it keeps coming to the edge and not, not coming out. So it's a sponge brayer and I just moved that one out of the way I don't want to get that covered in and I've got a spare sheet of um, copy paper and I don't want it to go on my big sheet because I like that nice and clean that sounds silly but uh, and turn I'll turn it round and when you're doing the sponge braying or any braying um, it's a roller, so just keep rolling it over and over again. Don't go backwards and forwards because you'll only get your ink in one place. But if you go all the way around, now I'm going to just, I'm starting off the page. I don't want it too dark, but I don't want it light either. So. I think that might be all right so now I'm going to take these off and then it will show you that um, that I have actually got some color on there it doesn't look it but there's quite a bit of color on now my next step then is I'm going to just fold that up so I don't get ink all over the place I'm going to just do the the bottom part. Oh, I'll do my tree first. I'm going to do my tree there, and I I know it's going to go over my um, over my cloud, but that makes it look as if the cloud is in in the background rather than masking that and. It, in the foreground so but part of the tree will be covered anyway because it's in green so at, at the moment is that should have been in you know I'm going to turn it over because I've done that in green and it should have been oh I don't know though I might just leave it in black no it's got to be black because the girl's green 
turn it round, start again. It should have been in memento black. So this is me making mistakes. But there again, when you've got another side to your paper or your card, you can turn it over and make mistakes if you like. That's part of the fun of being a, a card maker. So start again with the blue, which I've already folded up and put away. And start off the page. looks about right for me again. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way again. Sorry about having to keep blowing my nose. Now I'll take them off. Put them over there. And I will have to wipe, wash my tree off again because that was in and I'm using this um, the chamois which it makes it it's dry anyway now so I can use that straight away and memento black this time yes I've got the right one but, and you'll see the difference when I've done this one So there's the tree done in the black and there's the tree in the green. I quite like it in the green, but she's the little girl in the bottom is green and then that's going to be clashing with the, the green on the floor, which I don't want. So now I'll just uh, stamp Stamp the little boy with the kite in this corner. While we've got the black out. And the butterflies, and I've done them in black as well. And that's in the clouds. So there, everything is now stamped. And I'll put that away. Bring in the green. And I've got the um, sponge um, that I've got. And these come in a pack of three. And what, what most of the demonstrators do, because it's a big one, you cut them in half and then you cut them into three. So you make six of these little wedges. And then I've put pear pizzazz colour on the top with a bit of a staple and um, written per pear pizzazz on it. So every time I want to do pear pizzazz, I can just get this one out and dab it. I don't want it too dark, so I'll start off on the scrap paper like I did with the sky. And keep fetching it in and just put some little bits that's darker than others keep you just keep dabbing it round until you've got the desired look that you want. And with this one as well, I'm going to do the tree, but I'm going to do it where I've, I've done that bit and that's as much as I want on the um, 
on the grass bit there's a little bit there that I've missed so yeah right now I'm just going to put more ink on it and make sure I've got plenty of ink on it because I'm going to just do all the tree in this and you'll find that it hides most of the blue and it turns it a different colour to the rest of the tree but trees are different colours anyway just I think that's quite alright for that just move that out of the way oh I've got a little bit to do on the bottom of this one before I put this away and this is for a little bit of grass that he's on and I didn't put a verse in because and I didn't put a verse on the front because then it can be used for anything this card so move that out of the way now fetch me blends in and for the trunk of the tree I've got um, bronze may sound a funny colour but I wanted it a bit darker than the crumb cake because that's very light is a crumb cake but whereas this is quite a deep lovely colour brownie colour well, bronze it says but So there's the tree trunk done. Hopefully you can see the different colours in that. Now the little girl, I've done in pink with yellow hair. Well I should have done a clothes yellow and done a hair pink, you never know. So that put those two out of the way because I've finished with those and then Do a shoes in pink as well, I think. Yeah. And then the little boy, I've done in blue. But the kite is in... Um, the kite is in red. But I've put him in blue, all blue. And the... The colours I've used is Rococo Rose, Bronze and Mango Melody, the dark one, for a hair. Seaside Spray for his top. And his shoes. We've got very coordinating kids on this one and then the light the light seaside spray for his hat and his shorts and the kite then I've done in a poppy parade dark poppy parade And I'm using the brush tip. It, for some of the bits, I've used um, the the bullet end of it. It has a bullet and a brush. And with them being alcohol markers, um, it shows you on here, you've got the brush, that end, and the bullet, this end. So this is the thin thin end which I'm going to use for the end of the kite now so you can see that bit and then this end is for the brush so you can see how that one looks now this this is very thin so I can use this for the um, 
I've forgotten what these are called. They just we used to make them out of newspaper actually. So that's that's those. Are, it's the what did I use that ivory? I think I, oh for a book I used that for her book. Forgot to do the book. Right, so now it's just a matter of fasten this all in and put it onto your card, which I'm going to put that on the card at the front. So there you can see the difference. You can see the outline of the um, tree and everything. If we'd have done it that way, you, you wouldn't have seen it properly. So. But this is my interpretation of a clouds. Put, using Tombow glue for this. And we're doing it landscape and not portrait. Put that one on the inside. That's, uh, that's that card finished. So we've got two now. Um, that's the two cards that we've got finished. I rather like that one. I'm glad I'm given challenges because this really makes my brain tick over. Not that it doesn't tick over quite often, especially when I'm trying to go to sleep at night. It, it goes haywire. Um, but if you would like a to place an order and you want to place it over three hundred dollars, the best thing you can do is to become a demonstrator. And you don't have to be a demonstrator like me. I do card classes, I do videos, but I started off just being a hobby demonstrator with two people buying of me. And then it just went word of mouth um, where people wanted to join my classes. And, and I have other ladies that come to my classes that are demonstrators and they don't buy off me. They buy off their selves to get the discounts. For $169 um, and you, you get $235 worth of gifts of products that you of your choice but also until the end of June um, you get a gift um, sorry you'll get a bonus order for a stamp bundle which is a stamp set plus either um, a stamp set and a plot punch or stamp set and a die um, which sometimes can work out at $90, which quite a big saving when you're getting those for nothing. So if you wanted to join my team, just you can uh, email me on jackiesan50 at gmail.com um, or you can go on to my blog and if you just push punch in http two dots, two forward slashes, Jackie Sand Cards st uh, dot stamping up dot net. <coughs> Excuse me. And you, it's an enjoyable thing being a demonstrator. You're part of a big family to start with because there's loads of other people that are demonstrators, and they all want to to meet up. We we have meetings in Perth where we live and um, it's a fun day out and we get loads of goodies and we get that yes it costs us to to do the de the day but we get loads of goodies that make it worthwhile um but then uh we're a big family all over the world england uh, china 
Japan, Singapore, um, France, Germany, Belgium, New Zealand, Canada and America where it started. The, you, if, you, um, if you join, you get 20% off of your first purchases and if you move up to a Bronze Elite after so long you get 25% off your purchases but it is entirely up to you you don't have to if, if you join and you think oh I can't afford this all the time you just stop being a demonstrator you don't pay anymore you just stop and there's no questions asked it's not a forced thing where you need to, to say oh I can't can't become a demonstrator anymore and I don't know what to do because I'm going to finish you just stop buying stuff and then you go back to how you were before that's not a problem but hopefully you'll take the time and think about it and if you do just let me know and I can sort things out and even if you just want to order from me um, you can ring me up on 0422 Five four seven four six one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a comment or subscribe. Um, I'll be happy to uh, send you a message back to say thank you. I've received it. Okay, bye for now.